Hello, so good day again. So sa mga yun nga, 'di ba sa mga hindi po nakakapasok sa kanilang Office 365, tapos hindi rin sila makapasok sa DepEd Commons at hindi rin sila makapasok sa ano yun sa DepEd LMS nila, no? So may isang tutorial po tayo doon regarding how to enroll in your DepEd L regional DepEd LMS using only your DepEd email. Now, Doon naman po sa output submission kasi doon sa output submission para makakuha po tayo ng certificate of recognition, 'di ba? For example, kumpleto mo na yung 5 daily na certificate of attendance and certificate of participation, you now need to have the certificate of recognition. So para makuha mo naman yung certificate certificate of recognition, you need to submit your output Pero based doon sa instructions, yung output kailangang ilagay mo either in your OneDrive if you're using Microsoft Office 365 or ilalagay mo sa Google Drive naman if you're using your DepEd email. Now, since this tutorial is uh, para po ito sa mga hindi po nakakapag-access sa kanilang Office 365 or hindi po nila ma-enroll yung kanilang Office 365 sa DepEd Commons kasi nga They are meeting this error na uh, email not found. Kaya DepEd email yung pinili nilang gamitin uh, for, to enroll in DepEd Commons. This tutorial is for you. So una, uh, let us log in po sa inyong uh, DepEd email. Uh -huh. So login nyo lang po sa DepEd email ninyo and then... Yun, uh, just go to this app launcher, the three dots here, Google Apps, and then go to Drive. So, this is your OneDrive. Kung hindi ka pa po nakakapag-try ng OneDrive, almost, uh, I think, feeling ko po, blanco pa po yan. And then, to create a new folder, for example, create ka ng bagong folder, no? Uh, Right-click, right-click ka lang po dyan sa vacant space, and then, meron po dyan new folder. So, example, new folder. Click ka lang ng new folder. Tapos sabihin mong type ka my files or my outputs. O sabihin na lang natin, virtual inset 2021 outputs. Okay, outputs. So, now you have the virtual inset 2021 outputs. Double click it. Tapos sa loob naman po, pwede ka namang mag-create ng mga subfolders per Anong tawag nun? Per topic. So, for example, yung sa wakelet. So, again, right click, then new folder. So, type ka dyan, wakelet. Yung sa, or surfing 5Cs uh, in wakelet. Example, ganyan, no? Then, from that folder, pwede ka namang pumunta doon, double click ulit, and then, you can just right click. And then, upload files. You can upload files. So, now, you can choose what outputs are you going to upload. Dun po. Based on the uh, required output per topic in the depth in the virtual inset. So, for example, uh, surfing files is in Wakelet. Or, you can create another folder. Sabi natin, Adobe uh, na, na topic. So, for example, in Adobe, you can create, you can upload, double click. Then you can just upload the files needed. For example, yung PSD ba na file extension or yung image file na talaga yung final output po ninyo. So, pa ulit-ulit lang po yan. You can just click upload files. And then choose the file and then open. Okay? So, another one, for example, uh, let us say R of code. R of code. Then create. So, you just uh, double click and then Right click ulit, upload files. So ganun lang po 'yun. Right click, upload files, or right click, upload folder. Right click ulit sa vacant space and then new folder. So the question is, how are you going to share it? Okay. 'Di ba sinabi naman doon na you're going to share the link. Tapos sinabi pa that it should be set na dapat is anyone with the link can view yung settings. So, just right-click in the specific folder. So, for example, Adobe yung submit po natin. Right-click on Adobe. Then, dito po sa get link or dito po sa share na button. Click nyo lang po yan. Share. 
and then set it kasi usually it is restricted only people uh jan po sa department of education lang o, di ba so restricted only people added can be open this link or sabihin natin you can just click that and then instead of department of education sabihin natin anyone in the group to eh but you can choose this you can also have anyone in the group if this link can view or uh, anyone with the link po anyone in the internet with this link can view so viewer lang po siya hindi po siya pwedeng mag comment at hindi rin siya pwedeng mag edit so if yan po yung permission ninyo so depende po no kung ano yung nire-require dun sa DepEd LMS no or sa virtual inset kung sabihin nating department of education lang tapos uh, can view So, limited lang po to sa lahat ng gumagamit ng DepEd email. So, if naman, anyone with the link can view. So, anyone po na may access, may, may link po nito, can access those files. But only to view. And, mind you, they can all, upon viewing also, they can also, they have this privilege of downloading your files. Okay? So, just click done. So, if done, Then, just share the link na lang po. Uh, for example, share. Share, no? And then, copy the link. And, yun. Sanabi niya, copy the link. And then, link copied. So, you're just going to paste it later dun po sa forum. Or dun po sa kung saan man siya dapat na ipipaste. As required in the virtual inset 2021. So, I hope this video at least helped you somehow. So, maraming salamat po and good day po again sa ating lahat.